Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutzy Gaming and episode 3 of Hunting for a Mageblood. So in the last few days I've completed a lot more Gwen and Love books and a couple of Tuzian Love books. Regarding actual Love book drops I've been quite unlucky because a few have dropped Magic and Corrupted so I've had to run them as they were and there was another two that dropped with only Rog so I haven't even run them. Um, the last one's just sitting in my inventory because I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, had had quite a bit of luck with Tuzian. So around two Tuzian log books. Didn't get a lot of reroll currency, but actually out of it, we got some really decent stuff. Um, so we've got a smattering of chaos, some stack decks that I still need to open, 5k rogue markers, three exalted shards, got a raw exalt, and I also got a nurse card that's worth 1.9x, and we've got a wealth and power, which is level four enlightened card, and that's about 1.7x. Um, so in regards to currency, we've got a really good chunk to keep us going. Outside of the project, also I had a really nice Forbidden Flame jewel drop that I sold for 18x. Um, so that's obviously going to help fund either a future build or tons more gambles. Um, so at the moment, my raw currency, I mean, I've got a lot more liquid stuff, but in terms of raw results, we're looking at, at 42. So regarding Gwenin, we're now at around, I would say, 500 to 550 rerolls. Footage running in the background for the last set. Still not hit anything good. We've not hit one decent unit yet. So we're basically 500 odd rerolls down with nothing to show for it. And that's about 10 to 11x uh, in currency if you wanted to buy them. Now, as shown in the background, I'm also now control clicking because I know it annoyed a lot of people. And actually, it was just something I don't know why I wasn't doing it, to be honest. Um, and I've also now started using uh, a regex just so it highlights the items that I'm interested in. So it makes it a bit quicker um, when I'm doing the gambles. Um, essentially, all this does is you're putting in characters that appear on the items you want to see. And then it only highlights those items. So the items that I'm looking for um, that are going to be worth taking are an inspired learning jewel, unnatural instinct, mage blood, headhunter and squire. And I've also added in Brass Dome, even though it's not worth a huge amount of currency, it uses different reroll currency to the other items, so I might as well include it. Um, so I think going forward, I'm probably going to do it in 500 chunks of Astragalis, just because I think it's then worth showing something, and hopefully we might get at least one item each gamble uh, to show for what we've done. Uh, so the next episode is going to cover between... 500 uh, and a thousand astragalis which will then take our total cost if we would have actually sold all these items to around 22 um, to 23x so i'm hoping we start to turn around some sort of items just to make me feel a bit better even if it's a jewel or if it's a brass knife just something just something from gwen in that isn't a bold standard rubbish item uh, that gets sold to the vendor um, i do want to carry this series on as far as i can go I think also at the same time I'm going to re-roll to a different character because I'm, I wouldn't say I'm bored of my current character but I would like a change um, so I'm going to look into uh, a new build to roll into and we'll do that at the same time as carrying on this series. Uh, that's really it for this episode as I say nothing to show in terms of Grenon loot but some really juicy loot for Tujin. I've not decided yet whether to sell these div cards or stick them in a harvest gamble when they come up to try and double my money probably going to be gambling um, rather than selling them individually and maybe we'll even try and gamble those up to, to a full set very unlikely to happen but i don't necessarily need that money desperately at the moment um, so for now i'll just keep hold of them if it ends up for whatever reason i'm suddenly totally skint then we'll sell them if we need to reinvest um, so the last thing to look at in terms of this project is the currency so i've actually got quite a bit uh, of gwenin currency left these ones that we've got 2700 of these are the ones that are used for the heavy and the leather belts and it ranges between 26 to 72 i think in terms of how much it costs or 24 i think it is um so realistically we've got between 50 to 70 re-rolls left with this currency so i'll be able to top up the astragalis for the next video so i might farm 400 of them and then buy the last 100 150 because we'll obviously be be getting up currency as we go along farming these astragalis um that's it for this episode um hoping for a change in fortune in the next one um, but as always thanks for watching take care and see you in the next video